Welcome, my friends. So this is a special episode of uh, Batman because I am a huge Batman fan, and I want for this uh, final DC episode, I want to do, talk everything Batman, do some facts, show some comics, and just have a good uh, time talking about Batman because I want to move on to some other uh, comics I have in my collection and talk about other comics. There's lots of indie comics to go through that I want to showcase for you guys in my collection, including Archie. Uh, Disney and other stuff and eventually I'll get back to DC as well but for now I want to showcase some cool uh, Batman stuff and I do have my display uh, of Batman's figures and little guys down there and I just a uh, huge Batman fan so let, let's get talking about Batman so and some uh, facts um, did you know Batman is often called the Dark Knight or the Cape Crusader because he wears a cape and he crusades through the night, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so Batman Adventures was originally a cartoon from way back in the 90s, so that I do have in my collection uh, issue 8. Now this is a series I believe that went for 50 some odd issues and it's a pretty cool fun issue. But what's Robin doing with uh, Ivy and Harley Quinn? Well you have to read the issue, it is online. But it's just a fun, fun read. Uh, Batman Adventures uh, was a great TV show back in the day, animated shows. Uh, have you seen any of the animated shows? Do you like them? Uh, do you not? I, I know I do. I do have a few others in this, but I only have so much time. So I thought I'd show this cool cover with Robin and Ivy and Harley Quinn. Uh, it looks like Robin is trying to help them. But in this is a mid-grade condition, about fine. Uh, very fine so about seven zero and in this condition it's about thirteen dollar combo which isn't bad because these batman co comments are getting really expensive one of the cool comments i've had uh in my collection for years is the batman lost uh number one uh this is from 2018 this is nice and shiny who doesn't like uh shiny covers i know i do I'm a huge fan of these Dark Knight Meadows. Uh, the stories are pretty gritty and dark, uh, but still the covers are so cool, which is probably why I got most of them in my collection. But I want to show this one. I mean, uh, the value has gone up a little bit on these, but this is just uh, really cool and really shiny. And I want to do a quick spine shot. I believe this is about a nine, nine, four at best. Uh, if I was to ever get this graded, I don't know if I would, but you guys get these uh, Dark Knights Metal uh, graded. And they're just some awesome covers as well. So it's just something very, uh, very cool I want to show you. So another fun fact about uh, Batman is his first appearance was in Detective Comics issue number 27 way back in 1939. So that's pretty cool. Batman's been around for almost 90 years if my math is uh, correct. So I'm going to be doing some found facts in between uh, the comments. This is not really a review. It's just a fun uh, discussion about Batman because I have been collecting Batman uh, for a long time. So I want to show some comments from my collection for you guys. Uh, did you guys know about Batman Internals? There's a game war going on uh, and they're facing this guy here, the Penguin. I tried to find some covers with some of his uh, bad guys. Um, Besides the Joker, the Batman's been fighting the Penguin for almost a century and a bit now too. Uh, it's been a non-stop war with the, some of these bad guys. And even though Batman, another fun fact, Batman does have a no policy, uh, no po kill policy, which from 19, the 1970s and later he, that he took that. But before that, in previous versions, he did happen to kill, kill, but uh, by 1970, uh, the, whoever the writers were at that time, they made a uh kid that uh, rule, which is a good rule. No hero should really kill unless even provoked. Uh, the heroes need to save everybody, even the bad guys. But a uh, really cool cover with the penguin. And in the, this condition, this is about $7 comic. Uh, this is from 2000. Uh, 14 so it is 10 years old so not bad for a 10 year old comments some of my comments have gone off in price even though uh some the stickers are on like this one are on it and i don't think i paid 325 for this but i probably did just another cool cover it's a hush story this is part one um uh, this is detective comments 846 from way back in 
uh, 2008, so over 10 years now. So I'm trying to keep all my cars um, in the very good uh, condition. So uh, do you know what kind of type of uh, favorite food Batman is? Well, it's soup. Uh, there's a special soup dish that Alfred makes in Detective Comics uh, 701, I believe. Uh, that he is uh, that he made and it mentions that is his favorite type of meal Unfortunately, I don't have someone or one because I think that's a big key I should try and find it, but I think that I have a feeling that's going to be uh, really really old um, uh, Really expensive key so it is what it is. So this is Batman annual number uh, number eight 1982 now th this uh, these annuals went for quite a while before the volume one ended. So uh, I like how on the front cover they put the, the year on it, which is kind of nice. You don't have to open enough and date for it. It's just another cool cover that I want to uh, showcase because uh, Batman and Detective Comics do have some uh, cool covers. And I just think they're just worth uh, exploring and showcasing. And this is a, just another cool broad shade uh, comic. I say this is about another mid grade. There's not too many spine tits on there, so I'm going to put this about maybe uh, 9 4, for, which is not bad for how old this is. So, what do you guys think? Do you have this one in your collection? Do you not? I, I usually put all my annuals in front, and not. I know some people like to do them behind, but I kind of just like to uh, do them in front, and then I start with whatever issue number I have. Uh, I, mean, I don't have a lot of low end Batmans, unfortunately, because it, it does get really expensive. I mean, this was about five dollar co comment when I got it. I think it's now about ten to fifteen, uh, because values has come off in comments lately. So I just wanted to maybe show some different ones you might not have in your collection. Now maybe I have that some people don't or can't find. Uh, sometimes I just get lucky in certain spots, and it's all about timing and too when you're buying your comments. You never know uh, wh when you're stumble upon something and. If you get a chance to buy a collection, buy it because you never know what's going to end there. And yes, sometimes collections are good, sometimes they're bad. So I picked this one up for five bucks, I think, and uh, why not at auction. This is uh, Batman Returns from the, the movie, that which is the second one with Michelle Pfeiffer and Danny DeVito as uh, the Penguin. And Michelle Pfeiffer played Catwoman. I did a Catwoman episode and I think I brought that fact up uh, for you guys. Um, but yeah, you can tag and follow me here on YouTube and on other social medias like Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, X, or formerly Twitter, and Threads. Uh, I try and be on all platforms posting comments because I am a comic collector like you guys. I just now can able to, after all these years, be able to show my collection for you guys because I, I enjoy collecting and reading comments like everybody else. So one more fact for you guys. Um, did you know that Batman's uh, costume has everything? It's, it's fireproof, it's bulletproof, even though it has changed over the years, it's just a really cool uh, costume. Um, this is just, a, uh, like I say, his costume is black and yellow, which is kind of why my lights are yellow, but I want to showcase some cool variants that I have in my collection that I picked up over the years. This is just one of my favorites with uh, Catwoman and on and off. I uh, love Empress of, of Batman, which I believe I mentioned in my last episode, the Catwoman episode. I am, and there's not, lots of things um, Batman does that people may not like, but he is uh, the Cape Crusader who fights the the very darkest of fights in, in Gotham City, and he helps out the, the central police, and sometimes they're after him. This is one of my favorite covers, too, uh, from Legends of the Dark Knight, issue number 35 uh, from 1990. Uh, they did a bunch of covers like this. Uh, this is just a nice, cool foil with him in the city. And so what do you guys think? Did you guys collect the Legends of the Dark Knight? I tried, when I was younger, I collected a lot of different uh, Batman titles, and I just wanted to, like I say, show some that people may or may not have. Uh, but I want to also showcase Dark Knight's Metal Batman. The Devastator is about this guy here and he becomes a bad guy. And it's just really cool and I love shiny covers. And this, this sparked my interest way back then. So 
This came out in 2018, and I think I did buy it uh, in 2018 from some, I think when I was on holidays or something. So whenever you see the yellow jacket, it means I'm doing the video or promo. But yes, I am Joe from Joe's Comments Corner. I collect comments a long time. And I hope everybody enjoys my little series on DC Comics, just trying to bring out some characters that not get enough attention. And I love talking comments with you guys. So my next uh projects i'm working on is going to be on some spotlight on some indie comments that may or may not people know about and just fun to talk about different stuff and i try and keep it interesting for you guys so like i say just take a follow me and like all my videos i much appreciate it thanks everybody everybody have a good week